Hi guys, uh, today I wanted to share a little story with you, something that I've been, let's say, dealing with in the last few months. So um, in spring I had the coronavirus and um, while I did not feel great and it kind of sucked for like a week, a week and a half, it wasn't terrible. However, I had lost my sense of smell and it didn't come back for like four months and it was pretty scary. But um, yeah, not extremely annoying because it's something you don't like really notice on a day-to-day -day basis unless you think about it. But it was so bad, I couldn't smell anything at all. I couldn't smell my nail polish remover. I couldn't smell anything at the gas station. I couldn't smell my favorite perfume even if, if I put it like here. <laughs> so it was yeah, quite creepy. And then about one month ago, anything at all to like my sense of smell coming back but i wish it hadn't because everything just from one day to the next smelled extremely awful like i didn't like smell normally at all like everything would smell just like burnt plastic and uh, rotten food so I, like i couldn't i could really hardly eat anything and i would yeah just be hungry but i couldn't eat i was constantly nauseous and uh, it was a super super scary experience and i had called multiple doctors to talk about it and um, because this virus is so new no one really knew if uh, it's gonna go away or not they told me like yeah it might stay forever we don't know when it's gonna get better if it's gonna get better <laughs> good luck basically <laughs> you have to live with it and then i uh, made a mistake to google it and that was even worse like people were like writing that they're gonna kill themselves because it's like so awful and like never gonna go away or it takes many years to even improve and yeah i was just extremely crushed and just yeah broke down crying because i didn't know if it's gonna last forever and it was but it was just a super scary situation for me and um i was also feeling very weak because it just had trouble to eat anything at all really especially like processed food was the worst for me and um, then came the point where I just made the decision that it really get better and even though science doesn't have the answer or anyone really I'm not gonna give up and I'm just gonna focus on the positive and visualize myself healing and just think the thoughts of already being healed and feel this gratitude for healing and I started to meditate every day and really visualize you know the bad cells dying and uh, being replaced with uh, new working ones and i also started to notice that fresh fruit fresh vegetables unprocessed raw foods i could eat without a problem and then i also did what i always do when i'm in a very bad place i focus on what i can learn from the situation no matter how awful and painful it is and then once i found it out i hold on for dear life <laughs> To this uh, conclusion and uh, for me this one is that i've never eaten so clean before in my life i'm like pretty good shape because of it and, and holding on to this positive thought and uh, these lessons that can be learned uh, paired with meditating every day and visualizing healing and feeling the feelings of gratitude for getting better um it's improving slowly but it is improving and i'm by no no means back to my old self yet but i also started to do smell training every day where i use different essential oils and uh, smell them and visualize <laughs> the thing that it is supposed to be and that has helped me too but um yeah just really wanted to share this story with you in case you're going through a similar situation because of this virus and also no matter what you're going through i think it's so critical for healing to keep a positive mindset and uh, i really do believe that our body is going to heal itself no matter what science says and uh, if medicine has answers or not i think healing starts with inner strength and powerful positive visualizations and um, yeah, just the last thing that I want to say is that don't ever let anyone tell you that you're broken and never let anyone tell you that you're never gonna get better. Not the internet, not your doctor, and especially not yourself. If you have any questions about the um, sense of smell thing or going through something similar, please feel free to ask. I'm gonna try to keep you posted on uh, 
how my sense of smell improves because I know it will get better. <laughs> so yeah, that was my little story that I really wanted to share with you guys. And um, please remember that if anyone ever tells you that you're broken and will never get better, tell them they can uh, go fuck themselves.